Something horrible happened to Capuchin and Fish Game this week. It's a very serious issue and I'll be going over everything that happened. And for those who don't already know, Capuchin was a really popular VR game, which was very similar to Gorilla Tag. You use your hands to move around, you can explore the different maps and hang out with your friends. It's a pretty innocent and fun game and it was loved by many. However, recently stuff happened that would change the game forever. This is the Capuchin situation explained. On June 15th, 2023, two days prior to the incident, everything seems normal. People are playing on a capuchin, having fun, while others are chatting away in the capuchin discord server. June 16th, 2023, one day prior. I don't really know, why am I making this so dramatic for no reason at all? On Saturday, June 17th, 2023, the capuchin discord server gets hacked. More specifically, it got nuked, which is what happens when a Discord user has significant permissions to authorize bots to the server. This bot in particular is essentially like a Trojan. A Trojan is any malware that misleads users of its true intent by disguising itself. Like, do you see how beautifully I wrapped this virus over here? But once it's added to the server, it will destroy everything. There are many versions of this bot. The most common one deletes all the channels, all the roles, and all the messages, and then bans everybody from the server. This one, however, just spammed a bunch of links that contained Capuchin owner's private information. Essentially, she got doxxed. Now, doxing is the act of publicly providing personally identifiable information about an individual or organization. Man, Meaning that all her private information, including her real name, address, contact information, and possibly even more, was leaked to the public. Keep in mind that Capuchin's owner, Dudbust, is literally just a 13 year old kid. Yes, she is actually 13 years old, and all her private information was now public for everyone to see. So what happened? Did one of the moderators at the bottom purpose? While it's possible, it's not very likely. There's a few different possibilities here. Most people believe that one of the hackers managed to hack a moderator's account and then authorized the nuke. Or perhaps one of the staff members clicked on a suspicious link. After the server got nuked, there was no point in keeping it, so the admins decided it would be best to simply delete it. The hackers also managed to get into their playfab and deleted it, meaning all the capuchin data like cosmetics, currency, and more was completely deleted from the game. The playfab was connected to fish game, which means fish game was also affected. On Sunday, June 18th, 2023, Dot gets swatted, and it was posted by Dot herself. People were upset that their favorite VR game got completely ruined by a group of hackers online. And that was it for Capuchin. That bus completely gave up and didn't want to be associated with it anymore. Now, I would end the story here, but thankfully there is a good ending to it. Dot gave ownership of Capuchin away to Joker Josh. Him and the old Capuchin staff team started rebuilding the Discord server. With the help of a few trusted individuals in the community, the server was up and running. It didn't take them long to hit 1000 members. But what happened to all the cosmetics that people spend money on? Well, the creator of Fish Game says he has reached out to Playfab in hopes of getting a backup from them. I've contacted Playfab about getting it back, but for now, you'll have to stick with this error and Fish Game will be down for a little while. And if he does, then everything will be back to normal, although it's not a guarantee. One of the Capuchin moderators, as well as Joker Josh, the new owner of Capuchin, also got doxxed. I asked some of the staff members if I could interview them, but I don't think they were interested. Understandably so, they're probably really busy trying to set everything up and deal with the attacks. But one of the mods, Galaxy, actually responded to me, giving me some information about the situation. So, what happened to Dot Bust? Well, she confirms that she has a new project to work on, nothing Gorilla Tech related. Although she moved on pretty quick, I can kinda see that being something that may help her get her mind off everything. So, Dot Bust, good luck on your future projects and don't let this situation stop you. If you were a Capuchin fan, or you are now, 
then join their new discord. I will put the link in the description below as well as in the pinned comment. You didn't get kicked, you didn't get banned, now you know the entire situation, they had to make a new server. You can still play Capuchin, you just can't join a public lobby, although I'm sure that will be fixed very soon. Shout out to the people on screen right now, this video would be impossible to make without you, so thank you for your contribution by sending me information and footage. But also, thank you, the viewer for watching. It's crazy to me to think I have such a supportive fan base behind me. I couldn't have asked for better viewers. We may not be the biggest out there, but we're definitely one of the strongest. And I know you are all dedicated and passionate in what you do. So keep being you, don't let anyone stop you. And on that note, I will see you later.